cute and scary monkey cake. That is what we are creating today. One of them you'll want to hug to death, the other one will probably strangle you to death. Hi everyone, my name is Martina McBride. Let's get started. Now before we get into the video, make sure you hit that like button. It lets me know that you want to see more cute and scary cakes. And also comment what kind of cute and scary cakes you'd like to see next. There are also links to the ASPCA so that you can donate to help fight animal homelessness as well as animal cruelty. Or you can just get yourself a really nice loving dog or cat. Even turtles, sometimes rabbits and chickens also. And one more thing, I'm excited to announce that you can actually meet me. I mean, you can probably meet me out on the street if you live somewhere in Pasadena. I am going to be doing a free demo at Baker's Bodega in Pico Rivera where I buy a lot of my baking products. I get all of my edible prints there, I like the people there. I did a demo there already. I didn't tell anybody, I didn't post it anywhere. I was just super scared. <laughs> they said that I didn't look scared, but I was sweating like it was 120 degrees. But I thought it'd be fun to try it again and meet some of you guys. So Thursday, this Thursday, March 5th, 2020, I will be there at noon decorating a mystery cake. So if you can make it, please come. Now let's get into the cake. So we got two six inch half dome cakes for the head and we got two four inch half dome cakes for the body. Hey, look how sturdy that cake is. <laughs> it's frozen. I've got all of my usual cake stuff to build and stack my cute and scary cake. So let's get started. So I'm just stacking my cakes like normal with my PVC pipe stand system. And you're gonna notice that the belly part of this isn't made with a three inch half dome cake, which is what I usually use. It, I'm using a four inch half dome cake. I really want this guy to be plump, very pudgy. He just ate a ton of bananas, you guys, and his belly is poking out. This cake was really inspired by Planet of the Apes, the latest trilogy of Planet of the Apes. All three movies have moments that are just jaw-dropping. The first one in the cage when the monkey talks. I, oh, wow. The quality of the CGI when the monkeys are just going through San Francisco on horses is mind-blowing. It's almost like you're watching a nature documentary. And the third one, the baby monkeys when they're climbing that rope. Oh, those baby monkeys climbing that rope. That's my favorite thing. And also that weird monkey with a puffy vest that can talk. <laughs> I like that guy. I love these movies, which is why I decided to create a monkey cake. Okay guys, look, here's my monkey cake. It is gorgeous, not really. The icing is not that flat, but that's cool. I'm cool with that. So it does have a chrome coat on it and I actually carved a lot on the realistic side just so I could get all the dimensions right. I really kind of wanted to look like a monkey from Planet of the Apes because the new trilogy is bomb. The first movie in that trilogy is outstanding. I even made it so that his belly isn't as round because this one I wanted him to be pudgy. That's why you got that really big bulge. I've got all of my fondant here. I'm gonna start covering this baby with brown so that I can create my cute and scary monkey. Let's get started. Now for this, I decided to cover my entire cake with a really bright, very vibrant sort of a brown. You don't really hear that about browns, but this brown is very vibrant. In hindsight though, I probably would have gone for the vibrant brown on the cute side. And then on the scary side, I would have gone with a much duller sort of brown. Maybe like on the grayscale almost. Here's the fondant, look, I just needed the kawaii side to be completely flat, right? So the mess, ba-bam, is all on the realistic side. <laughs> this whole debacle, all of this mess down here, but that's fine. I know some of you told me that I should use chocolate, um, what is it called? M molding chocolate? But it is so expensive compared to fondant. 
and I know that I'm going to be able to hide all of these seams with the uh, other layers of fondant that I'm going to use to create his face and his chest so you won't see this when the cake is finished but look at that look how smooth that looks right even his neck is smooth right okay I'm gonna add more features now now when I was creating the scary side's face there was a lot more detail going on I'm using ball fondant tools I'm using a lot of just fondant shapers one of the things that I really didn't like about this cake, even though I think it's pretty cool, was that the round head that I use for the cute side keeps me from creating a realistic head shape for the scary side. I'm confined to the circle. But I added a lot of depth when I carved the cake. So even though I have that basic round shape, I made sure that the snout could go out a little bit further than the eyes. I was really able to shape how deep the eyes were because of all the cake that I carved earlier. Now for the monkey chest, I thought that was really funny. The cute side, very plump, very pudgy. He eats a lot of bananas, but on the scary side, I wanted him to be very muscular. So I added some fondant to give him a really nice thick chest. I'm just blending it into the rest of the cake. I'm also gonna give him like a six pack, a little bit. He's working out, he's going to Gold's Gym, doing a little bit of CrossFit to get his stuff in shape. And it's really showing. Now when I was creating the cute side, this turned into an unintentional Curious George cake. I didn't mean it to, but the shape looked like Curious George. The fondant that I used to create his face looked like Curious George and I added round fondant eyes initially, but the almond eyes just fit so much better and I just ended up creating Curious George. On the scary side though, this is definitely not Curious George. So this is my cute and scary monkey cake. And I know it wasn't intentional. But that's Curious George. Now for the scary side. Da, 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 da. I kind of think he looks like the angry monkey from Family Guy. That's what I was going for. And with the paint job that I'm going to be doing next, I'm going to try and do like a Planet of the Apes kind of a thing. Am I happy with it? Yes. I think these are two very cool looking monkeys. Now let's make this one look scary. Now, one of my favorite monkeys in Planet of the Apes is Koba. Koba is a scary monkey in Planet of the Apes. You've seen him, he's terrifying looking. He's been experimenting on a lot, which is why he's got that scar on his eye. You know, he sort of represents the worst parts of humanity when it comes to animal cruelty. And I wanted to incorporate a lot of Koba into this painting, which is why I ended up turning the brown fondant black I gave him a scar over his eye and just added blood, you know. He probably was a good monkey and then humans did all this stuff to him and now he's just terrible.
Ta da! And. <laughs> okay, hold on. Because. <laughs> I would run in the opposite direction if I saw this guy coming in. So, ever since I created the it cake that has the yellow eyes surrounded by red, I just. I've fallen in love. <laughs> with that look and so I, I feel like I incorporate it into so many of my cute and scary cakes. Yellow eyes just look so demented. I do love this cake. I love the little feetsy hands and the banana that Curious George is holding but I mean this just looks like everybody's nightmare, doesn't it? And I love the war paint that I added. Spinning cute and scary cakes is my favorite thing to do. It is the best to see two ideas being represented on one cake. So what do you think? What do you like better? Do you like this Curious George or do you like the Planet of the Apes one? I love detail so as much as I think this is cute, I, I'm just like super excited about how this turned out. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Look at that eye. Oh, I did a good job. So I'm really proud of this cake and one of the reasons I started to incorporate sort of this vlog style is because I laugh a ton when I finish my cute and scary cakes. I don't know why, it's not that they're extremely funny, especially since I'm laughing mostly at the scary side. But there's something about how this cake pulls on two very different emotions that always gets me. Oh, it's almost like when a dream turns into a nightmare. Now, I can turn anything into a cute and scary cake, so if you want to see more, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you want to see. Someone said a kitty cat. I'm doing a kitty cat. I'm still working on my robot and a leprechaun because somebody requested that as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Peace!